Hi guys, welcome to the Solo Nightfall run. This is going to be my Warlock run. For the purposes of this run, we're going to be doing it on the uh, Stormcaller subclass. Mainly for the for the Pulse Grenade, not, not for the Super itself. Uh, Weapon-wise, we're going to be using Better Devils, Mananen, uh, uh, Warcliffe, switching to Curtain Call, and in an interesting twist, we'll then be switching to the Borealis. Uh, Armor-wise, Double Grenade mods is really all I needed here. I put on Eye of Another World for Rift Regeneration and because it gave me one extra resilience. For anybody that's been following me on Twitter or Facebook will know that uh, my PlayStation broke a while ago. So I've just basically got back on my PlayStation account. So that's why I don't have many masterworks because I've been off PlayStation for about two months. Uh, and I've, my PlayStation's got Mananans. I've never dropped a Mananan on Xbox. It's, it's getting, getting stupid now. So... For this run, uh, the, 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 there is a strategy, break this run up into four sections. Now, I start the Nightfall strategy, or the sections I'm talking about, after the Infinite Forest, because the Infinite Forest, it's not repeatable, it's obviously randomly generated. The only thing I would say about the Infinite Forest is, if you don't have to bush jump, don't bush jump. I find that if you don't bush jump, the ads aren't quite as aggressive. Uh, obviously, there's some things, you, some places that you will have to, you know, use your boost to get to a, a different section. But if you don't have the boost jump, don't. Uh, this strategy, basically, like I say, once you get past Infinite Forest, you've got four minotaurs, three minotaurs in the boss, four sections. Uh, once we get to the boss, it is a very specific way that I do the boss, so that I can manage ads and his location on the map. Anybody can do this. Anybody can follow this strategy. Uh, now, the problem I've got with a lot of strategies are... For me, there's two types of people that make videos. There are people that make videos so that people can watch them. Look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm really good. Be amazed. You know? And then there's people like me that's... For anybody needing help with this nightfall, here's a video. You know, that th this is a way to do this. There's in informative and then entertainment. <laughs> and th this might not come across well, but if you want to be entertained, that's what clowns do. So, go, you know, if, if you want to be entertained, go, go and watch someone that is there for entertainment purposes. If you want information, there are a few guys out there, myself, Shablo, Hitman, you know, uh, wa watch one of our videos and we'll show you how to do it. Uh, so, w once you get past Infinite Forest, you're in the, the, the for me, the Nightfall proper. Uh, I come in here with full Warcliffe because, as most people should know by now, if you rally a flag for a public event before you go into the Nightfall, then you'll c the Nightfall remembers, the game remembers how much ammo you had before, and it will put you into the Nightfall with full Warcliffe ammo. Uh... I've done this strategy before. If anybody remembers, or people that have been, like I say, have followed my videos, watched my videos, I've done a, a Prestige Nightfall solo on Ark Strider uh, on, on Garden World, and this was kind of the strategy I used. It ju I, ju I think this is just more effective. I mean, this is a 14-minute Nightfall run on the Warlock. That's pretty good. You know, I, I think I knocked... I'd beat this a couple of times. My fastest was like 17 and a half minutes. And I thought I could get it down to 16. And then just wrangling it and moving it about and just changing it. I managed to get a 14 minute 4, 14 6. I knew I'd done it. Done it you know, I, I'm, I'm happy with this. So when you get to the first Minotaur, everything, everything is specific. Everything is, this is the way I do it, you know. And it's the same way every time. You get to the first Minotaur, you want to hit the Minotaur with your grenade. Actually hit him with the grenade. So that the grenade is pulsing on him. Hit him with a grenade, war cliff, and then just forget about him, because he's going to die. That You don't have to bother with any ads. Uh, take out the box, you can go straight to the next section. Now, as you can see, I, I you know, I went, I went red bar there. Out of the three or four completions I had, that was the first time I went red bar at that section. So, don't don't worry about that. Do not worry about that. If you're fast enough, or 
I suppose you could say lucky enough, uh, that that won't happen every time. That next section, make sure you take out the two red bar snipers. That's all you have to take out because you can manage that last orange bar sniper so he doesn't get too much damage on you. So the next section, make sure you've reloaded your cliff. You'll have a grenade. Hopefully that's why I've got the double grenade mods on my armor because uh, the grenade's really the only thing I'm going to need from the subclass. What I do here is, again, melee the box and then turn around, uh, jump to the back, put a grenade on the boss. Now, there'll be orange bar minotaurs. You just want to aim a war cliff, kind of kind of uh, crop dust <laughs> the ground in front of you to hit the boss and the minotaur. Now, I, I stayed and killed the minotaur that I'd hit with the war cliff so that I only have, you know, so that it's it's for it's for heavy ammo basically. When you get to this where I am now, you can you can basically get behind that wall and and look at the boss and su look at the minotaur in such a way where he'll be shooting the wall and you can crit him. What I do now is I take out the two snipers at the back. I go and collect the heavy ammo, so I, I'm back to full war cliff as you can see in the video. I couldn't find the, the second brick because it flew all the way over there. Uh, uh, take out the box and then you're free to go. If you take the snipers out, because on the odd occasion, if they if you take a bit of damage from one of those minotaurs that you haven't killed and the two snipers hit you together, you're dead. So we still got our super, which makes clearing this next section of ads on the ramp so much easier because you're just going to super all of those. Uh, and, then, and then that will take us on to the last section of minotaurs, which I've got a very specific way of doing that as well. I... I'll, I'll get to that when we get there. <laughs> but, but while I've got a bit of time, as, as because I'm going to super all these ads, I just want to say thank you for everybody that's been watching the videos. I I, I don't I don't know if I say it enough, uh, but I really do appreciate all the support I get. You know, uh, and I hope you guys will, will still be here, still watching the content uh, in me when the War Main drops, uh, because that's probably when I'm going to make the most content. Obviously, new stuff, new stuff to do, uh, and 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 that uh, escalation protocol looks pretty cool. I wonder if it's soloable. I suppose you'd have to get into that area to solo it uh, on your own. So here we are. I've took the exploders out. Now I'm going to take the snipers out. Do not go up. The, do, try and stay away from the top of the stairs because that's when you activate the harpies. So we want to take these snipers out before the harpies so we don't really have to deal with those. They're not a big deal, it's just for time. Uh, now, you do have to go to the top. I reload. I do have to go to the top to get this last one. But as soon as I, as soon as I aggro him, I know I can take him down. So push all the way up, melee the box, and then just keep going to the back. Just keep going past the boss, and then you're going to drop a grenade at his feet, and then you're going to war cliff. That will kill him, and to save yourself, you're going to jump behind this box. You can shoot the box from behind. Now, when you get up, when you, when you jump into this teleporter, all the ads will be there. Now, every time I've done this, I've took damage. So do not worry about taking the damage. But I, I'll, I kid you not, I have never died at this section from taking that damage. I have been red just about every time, but I've never died. So... Now we're at the boss. So once you've shot that box, there's a very specific way of doing this, f to follow this. So we're going to go over here. Four ads are going to come. You're going to take the two ads here, and then the two ads will be in the center. One will come right from the back, and one will come from the right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put a single grenade, because we've only got one grenade. But I mean, you're not going to do anything more than that. You're just going to put a grenade on the boss. That will, sp that will spawn in the rest, uh, an another big wave of goblins. Now, the biggest problem some people probably have at this section is, I got a bit greedy here, and as you can see, if you do get greedy and try and just, I can take them all out. You you know, there's a, there's a, quite a few of them. You'll take focus damage. So just make sure you're, you're aware of that. The biggest problem I think a lot of people have with this is they get overawed. If you can't take the boss out quickly, then manage your damage on, on them because the ads are, are linked to, to the amount of damage you do. 
So you're going to put two, two rockets on them here, which will bring in the next wave, which is going to be four snipers. And you are now going to move around the map with him. You want to keep him almost central to you. You don't want him coming, you know, coming up, you know, to your left while you're fighting ads to the right. Because that, that's, that's when, you know, that's when you get yourself into trouble. Now, when the cover disappears, just back away because cover will appear again somewhere in front of you. So there's no need to panic if, if the cover disappears. Now that I've took those four snipers out, I'm going to make it, I'm going to try and get to his right so that I can like use, there'll always be a little kind of bit of cover here, uh, a little kind of wall. Uh, so I put a grenade and I put a rocket. Now I did take a heavy hit there. That doesn't normally happen, but as you can see, it was all good. We're now in the very last kind of ad section. So the way I've kind of done this, just to re recap, is grenade, uh, take out the four ads, grenade, uh, take out the wave of goblins, two rockets, take out the, the four snipers, grenade, two rockets. And that brings us to this section. This is the, the, the section where you, the, the, the first two minotaurs are. The trick with this, you've probably seen things like this before, and like I say, anybody that's been watching my videos will have seen I'd done a prestige back back when prestige has meant something. Uh, I'd done a prestige this way. Uh, so what, what, I had two work, I had two curtain calls because as you, I did change the curtain call earlier on. I've used one. I what, two curtain calls left. I used one to take out those two yellow bars, two orange bar uh, goblins. I've hit the the thing, the first minotaur. I hit him with a rocket, and uh, used my super on him. Gone into cover now. I'm going to change to the war cliff, and I'm going to change from um, uh, uh, healing rift to empowering rift. Now I'm going to go and pick up. I haven't used my grenade. I need to keep my grenade at this point. So I, I haven't used the grenade. So I've picked up the the the, the heavy ammo. Now I'm going to push the 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 second dome, the second orb. Uh, it's not orb. It's a dome. <laughs> Kill the three goblins in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to release this Minotaur, and as long as I don't kill this Minotaur, uh, we'll get no more adds, and the boss will stay in the one place. So now I hit him with a grenade, I put a war cliff in him, and I make it across to the shielded Minotaur over at the other side. Now, I could have done this sub-14 minutes, but I wanted to show why this is so effective, so I waited to show you guys. This Minotaur will come over. If you are inside this shield... He will just come over. If you're outside the shield, the boss and the Minotaur will both shoot you. If you're inside this shield, they won't. And you can get, you can shoot. But if you just move slightly, as you can see, if you just move slightly to the left, you can get crit shots on the boss. Consistently. So this is where I changed to the Borealis. And Empowering Rift. So he had just about just about half, just over half health. All your Borealis shots, I, I, I don't, I think I hit them all crits. I think I might miss one. Uh, if you hit all your sniper shots, you'll leave them with very little health left. And then I will change from Better Devils to uh, Nameless Midnight and finish them off. It's that simple. This works with uh, not the Empowering Rift, obviously, but this strategy I will work with any subclass, any character, uh, and I mean, if you were doing a prestige and you wanted to do it, if you would, if you're interested in farming for the exotic ship, I mean, at this section, you could have uh, on a prestige run, you could get to this point, you could have a hunter running about, going invisible aggroing the, the Minotaur up, and you could have a character left and right inside the, the Minotaur bubbles putting damage on the boss. I mean, th this isn't... Th this is a strategy for people who, you know, want to solo this, but it's, it, it's just another way to do this. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, like I say, it's a, it's a pretty decent strategy. It's a fast time for the Warlock. Uh... If you have enjoyed the video, show it some love, show it a bit of support. Uh, I'm always grateful for comments. I'm always grateful for critique. I'm always, obviously, we all love the pat on the back, but I'll take the critique if it's constructive, obviously. 
again, thank you everybody that's been supporting the, the videos, supporting me, supporting the channel. Looking forward to May the 8th. A lot of good content coming up. And uh, I will see you in the next video, guys.